So the cause for the slaughter of the martyrs was their preaching of the word of God and their testimony of Jesus Christ. Lest anybody think, well, just dying violently or for some cause or for some good is it's not enough. Not, that's, that does not make them martyrs. But their testimony for Jesus Christ, the saints confessed that the one crucified and resurrection from the dead is the eternal God who took on the flesh. This confession of faith, this martyrdom in word and deed is prerequisite. This confession is actually what burned the devil the most. This is what crushed the head of the serpent, the crucifixion of Christ and his resurrection. This confession, this reality, this life, this death and resurrection that happens in the baptism, the chrismation, the communion. Why do you think the devil wants so hard to war against holy baptism? Because he hates the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord, which is our salvation. And he wants us to be deprived of participation in that. And he wars against holy baptism again and again, night and day, that you not receive holy baptism, holy chrismation, holy communion. This confession, this reality, this experience of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ more than anything else is what destroys the devil. Not all the rest, the miracles of Christ, the miracles of the weeping icons, uh, the feeding of the 5,000. All these things are secondary. It's the cross and resurrection, the, the theanthropic nature of Jesus Christ, that he was, died and rose and is sent at the right hand of God bodily, and he is, the incarnate Logos is at the right hand of God the Father. This is what he hates most. And this reality we must enter into and become communicants. We have this fake gospel today in our, in our age. Uh, they want to make everything but this, right, out of Christ. They want Christ to be a philosopher. They want him to be a teacher. They want him to be a reformer. They want him to be somebody who brings peace on earth, a peace of the religions, peace of the world. They, they, they want to make the church into that. They want to represent that as the main goal of the church. This is anathema. This is not the gospel that the Lord brought. They don't want war against the passions, against the old man, right? No war. No martyrdom, please. No suffering, please. No cross, please. Wherever you see that, got a problem. Even if it's in the Orthodox Church, even as an Orthodox bishop or priest or patriarch, it doesn't matter. If anyone has that gospel they're preaching, they are not of God. They've walked away from the church, even if they have the mitre on their head. They're not representatives of God. And this happened many times. Nestorios, Macedonios, uh, Dioscoros, the many, many heretics throughout church history, the various popes, the various patriarchs who went into false communion, false unions. It goes on and on and on. They, they, they walked away from the narrow path, the cross, and the witness of the fathers. So those who continue preaching Jesus Christ, the crucified and the one resurrected from the dead, will certainly face the rage and the persecution and the mania the mania of the devil and his agents. This is how martyrs gave their blood for the word of God and for the confession of our, our testimony of Jesus Christ. 